Phantom is my horse, Cotton Ball is my goat, and Carrie is my sheep. Few things in this world mean more to Candace Day than her animals. He's such a good boy. Six years ago, her menagerie was four times as large, and every ounce of her energy went into their care. My daughter would say, Mom, you're falling asleep a lot on the couch at night, and I'd say, Hello, I'm taking care of 12 animals. I have a full-time job. I live on an acre and a half. I could justify the fatigue. This is our theater. We have 1,600 seats in here. At age 55, Candace never imagined that being tired was anything more than the result of a busy life. Then the discomfort started, and that was harder to ignore. I felt this pain going between my shoulder blades and my back in the upper part, and it got my attention. I thought, mm, what is that? And But then as quickly as it came on, it went away. 20 minutes later, Candace knew it was time to get medical help. It was like a vice grip was pushing on both sides of my abdomen. Half of my brain was going, heart attack, and the other half was going, wait, you're 55 years old, you have no risk factors. It can't be a heart attack, that's ridiculous. Candace didn't have the textbook symptoms for a heart attack that many men often report, like crushing chest pain, pain radiating down the left arm, or shortness of breath. In women, symptoms can be much less pronounced. It's more of a, a pressure or a, a tightness, a heaviness, a burning sensation. It can be in the chest, it can be in their throat. Hi, Candace. Sutter cardiologist Greg Hopkins says that after menopause, a woman's HDL level, the good cholesterol, tends to drop, which may account for the rising incidence of heart disease. The key is to minimize that and other risk factors. The risk factors for heart disease tend to be, in order, cigarette smoking, hypertension, high cholesterol levels, specifically high LDL cholesterol levels, the bad cholesterol, low levels of HDL, the good cholesterol, diabetes, and family history of first degree relatives at relatively young ages. There is good news on the heart disease front. Most of those factors can be addressed without medication. Get this, lifestyle changes can drop a woman's risk by 82%. You lose weight and restrict salt for high blood pressure. You limit the carbohydrates as you ha if you have high triglycerides and you're overweight. Limit the fat intake in your diet. Exercise on a regular basis to raise your good cholesterol level. Awareness of what causes heart disease has bolstered Candace's commitment to prevent it. I've worked on it, but it's been a slow process. It's been over the past five and a half years, and I'm now at 37 pounds, and I'm very happy about that. And let's not forget the importance of stress relief for heart health. Surrounded by her animals, Candace has reconciled how almost dying has led to fully living. You lose invincibility. You're now aware that you're very vulnerable. You realize how fragile life is and how fast it can be taken away from you. I am grateful for my life. I am so grateful for my life.